And now we take a look at the work of the security teams at the Southern District Health Board. Uh, my name's Jody Teremoana. I'm the team leader for security here in Otago, based here at Dunedin Hospital and also at Waikari Hospital as well. We have a team of 17 officers, a component of that are shift leaders, and then we have the rest of the team. Yeah, I've been here 22 years now. Uh, originally when I started, I started as a casual officer just working weekends. Probably to sum it up, the easiest in one sentence is we're here for the protection of people and property. So that sums it up quite well. Um, it covers a wide variety of different things that we actually do, but uh, that's basically what our core focus is, looking after people and making sure that the assets of the hospital are also well maintained and kept safe from damage and that sort of thing. We're based here in Dunedin Hospital, so we cover the whole site and also the outbuildings that are attached to the site as well, so that extends as far across over to Lee Street where we have uh, a parking area for our fleet vehicles. Um, across the road, next door to Cumberland College, we've got the Fraser Building, and then we've got the main hospital campus itself, all the wards, or the what we call the South Wing, which contains all the admin offices and laboratories and things like that. Um, similar to what other um, security operations would have, uh, we have, like you can see behind me, all the cameras that we have set up around the hospital to keep an eye on things. We have card access readers installed around various areas of the hospital, really to maintain access control. So people are accessing the areas they need to, to be able to go into. Uh, we also have normal key locks and we have lots of doors that we check from time to time to make sure that they're actually secure, especially at night time. Uh, we also have uh, various tools that we use during the course of our duties, uh, radio communications, cell phones of course are everywhere. Um, in addition to that, because we're a 24 hour operation, we're using things like uh, torches and um, high-vis gear so we can be seen at night time as well. We are also on the controls here and we do the, the cameras, um, unlock all the doors, card access to the doors, um, making sure everyone's can get in for access. Parking, people ringing up for parking, especially out of town. So yeah, it's, we're, we're always something to do. Um, once that tracer goes off, it could be a, a door or it could be ED or EPS. One of the less savoury uh, incidents that we deal with is uh, the our emergency department, especially the after hours activity that tends to happen. Uh, one of the key things we've done to try and, uh, I suppose, help improve that situation is have officers stationed outside the ED entrance on busier nights just to control the numbers of people who are coming in with a patient who needs treatment. Uh, what we've seen in the past that people, especially if an assault an assault's been involved and it's also been alcohol and other things also playing a part in that. Uh, people come here very angry, upset that their friends have been hurt and unfortunately they tend to take out their, their anger and their stress on the staff who are working in an emergency department who are actually trying to help their friend. Uh, one of the key things we like to say to people is if you want to wait with your friend we need you to be respectful of the staff who are working in the department and if they are large groups then we will be needing to cut down the numbers who are coming in. A typical day for security staff, obviously we've got our routines, our procedures that we do, certain areas that we need to patrol and cover within a certain time period. Um, if those are all going okay, then the, there will be some sort of downtime where we're doing other things until we get the next call. And that's probably the biggest issue for us. We, is, we are a reactive service. When something happens, then you go. And if nothing's happening, then you're waiting for the next call to come. Uh, because we are a, a district wide now, um, our service uh, is also based, well, we have a security service based at Southland Hospital. Uh, we correspond quite often, if not call each other every day, just to share information. Uh, a lot of the things that we deal with here are also relevant to what he does in Southland and vice versa. So that flow of information between both sites is really good for us. Uh, keeps us up to date with any potential problems that might arrive on our doorsteps and it's also really handy to be able to link in with somebody from another security operation um, at a different location just to see how they do things as well. Every, every day is different. Every day is different. You don't know who you're coming across. You could have a fantastic day or you could have a hell day. But you're there for the people and the staff and look after them basically. Probably the best part of the job is you don't know what you're going to be dealing with. 
so there's always something different around the corner. Uh, one of the things I have learned here is never think that you've seen everything. Uh, there's always a situation that comes around that you've never encountered before and it can be a real test of your coping abilities and also a test of your initiative as well and certainly we do have to think quickly on our feet at times and that's probably what I like about it the most.